My name is Zach Coco with Minrig Drives, and today we'll be showing you how to calibrate the PCM4 for your input signal. Make sure you have your multimeter handy because we'll be using it during the calibration. For this demonstration, we'll be using a 10 volt power supply to simulate an input signal. Because we're using a 10 volt power supply, we would attach our input signal to input 1 and common, which can accept voltage ranges from 0 to plus or minus 25 volts, or if you were using a current input signal. If you were using a greater voltage range, you would need to use common and input 2. This ranges from 0 to plus or minus 250 volts DC. Now we will attach our input signal leads to pins 7 and 8, which is the common. and input 1. As I said before, input 1 can accept voltage or current ranges. To toggle between current or voltage or the different current ranges it can accept, there's a dip switch located in the middle of the board. If you're using a current range, you simply just flip the dip switch on to whichever current range you are using, or leave them all off if you are using a voltage range between 0 and plus or minus 25 volts. The next step is to apply power to the board. The board can accept 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. It comes factor default set at 115 volts AC with the two jumper bars set as they are. If you wanted to apply 230 volts AC, you would need to remove both jumper bars and place a single jumper bar between pins 2 and 3. Now we'll connect the input power wires. When attaching the wires, whether you're using 115 or 230, the wires will be attached the same way in pins 1 and 4. The last step is to calibrate the board for any given signal input. To do this, we will apply the max input signal that you're using, use the voltmeter to read across pins common, which is pin 7, and TP, which is pin 10. We want to get this, the voltage across these two pins, to 5 volts. To do this, we adjust the trim pot located next to the dip switches in the middle of the board called Signal Input Adjust. Just turn the trim pot counterclockwise or clockwise, whichever way, until you reach 5 volts. Like so. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Minerick Drives. If you want to learn how to calibrate the output to a specific drive, make sure you check out our other videos. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at www.minerickdrives.com or call one of our application engineers at 815-624-6950.